Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back at you with another tequila review. This time, we got De Leon Tequila in this nice square rectangle looking bottle. We got a Blanco and we got a Reposado. There's an Anejo, but we haven't, oh, but we haven't picked that one up yet. Right. The details on De Leon. About De Leon Tequila. There's a whole page on DeLeonTequila.com. So the story goes, launched to the world in 2009 by a serial entrepreneur and tequila aficionado, De Leon Tequila defied the conventions of the category to establish a new standard of luxury in tequila. De Leon Tequila is made from the finest 100% Highland Blue Weber Agave sourced from the rich earth of the Los Altos region of Jalisco. Hand selected at harvest for high quality and peak ripeness, our plants yield the sweetest piñas, giving the tequila its abundant character and balance. Slow roasting of the agave in traditional brick and clay ovens combined with slow fermentation under the precise guidance of our master distiller, contribute in rich depth and complexity to the, to the agave's natural sweetness, creating a markedly nuanced character. De Leon Tequila achieves this astonishing depth of flavor in just two distillations, allowing the tequila to retain the unique character acquired during the fermentation progress. With relentless attention to detail, our master distiller artfully cuts the beginning and end of the distillation, allowing only the absolute best portion or cortisone to find its way into every bottle, creating a subtle taste profile with unrivaled finish. For most of the age, expressions and unconventional process blends the art of tequila with the mastery of French wine making through a unique combination of bold American oak barrels and fine French wine casks to impart a distinctive, balanced character. So, the bottle. The bottle. Displayed in a stunning bespoke style bottle made from high quality fragrance grade glass and boldly tattooed with the distinguishing mark of the De Leon brand, each expression in the collection is strikingly defined. Fine line detailing accentuates the crowning signature ornate metal closure. The master for which with meticulously hand carved by a jeweler from a one pound solid ball of sterling silver. De Leon, this little topper here, that's unique. All right, the man behind Big De Leon Tequila. De Leon Tequila was launched in 2009 to an elite following in Hollywood and the U.S. music industry and purchased in 2014 by a joint venture between business mogul and international style icon Sean Combs, P. Diddy, and the world's largest spirits company, Diageo. Okay, so P. Diddy must be a backer or a face of the brand. So we got Blanco, Reposado, and Anejo. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this glass, we're gonna taste test, we're gonna use a half ounce for each tequila. So let's look at the bottle. So this is Sterling Silver, there's a De Leon D on the top, there's a De Leon wrapped around the cork thing right here. There's a big D right there, De Leon Blanco, Tequila, 100% Puro de Agave. 40% alcohol per volume. Got the barcode right there. You got this right here, which says, Hencho in Mexico. 750 milliliter. Please drink responsibly. You know. De Leon, you can feel the emblem right there. It's not a sticker. It's etched into the glass. This whole thing right here. For a 750 milliliter bottle. It's pretty cool. That's solid glass. So let's go with Blanco. The definition is smooth. Exquisite Highland agave is slowly roasted in traditional clay ovens for a subtle taste profile with the whisper of sweet agave, citrus, warm spice, and smooth vanilla on the finish. Crystal clear. Aroma is going to be a fresh citrus and crisp agave. So here we go with that. A little nice pork spot right here. Okay. 
citrus and agave. That's what it smells like. The taste opens up with a rich complexity driven by notes of coconut and fresh citrus with a hint of lime. The finish should be a warm brown spice and vanilla finishing with unparalleled, unparalleled smoothness. Okay, let's do a half ounce. The pour spout is awesome because it, it allows you to pour perfectly. Not too big around, but just enough where you can get the tequila in there. Alright, so the aroma, fresh citrus and crisp agave. Smells good. The tequila, they all have a unique smell. <sighs> I breathe it in. Okay, the taste is going to be coconut, citrus, and lime. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Exactly. Okay, warm brown spice and vanilla finish with smoothness. That's good. Not much of a bite either. It is smooth. De Leon. Okay. Tequila's just got that wonderful smell, man. Wow. The taste is good. I'd get slight coconut. Definitely citrus and lime for sure. The finish is a brown spice with vanilla. Ooh. Okay. De Leon. Okay. Ooh. Hold up. Okay, we got this at our local liquor store. But let's check the price so I can let you know what it is. Uh, how much it goes for. We're going to use a reserve bar for our research. De Leon Tequila Blanco. So the bottle is going to go for $49. Okay, it is smooth. Okay, it's up there. It's like it. PD? Okay. Now, so far, I love 818. I love Fletcher's old. And this, this will probably come in third. One, two, three. So $49 for that. Now, what the next one we're going to do is, whoops, the Reposado. Reposado is probably going to be, get me on. This one is going to be a little bit more expensive, right? Oh, $51. Yeah, $51 for the Reposado. And as you can see, it's going to have a slight darker color. And the one I don't have at the moment is the Anejo, which is probably going to be a little bit more expensive. So $49, $51. Yeah, the Anejo is going to go for $60. All right, but we don't have that at the moment because it wasn't available. All right, the Reposado, an artful balance. Just look at it, same design, just with a darker color. The finest Highland tequila is gently aged in bold American oak and then finished in delicate French oak wine cask, creating a balanced profile. With vanilla, dried fruit, and a hint of spice on the finish. A combination of French wine cask and American white oak cask are used to achieve the ideal flavor, complexity, and rich aromatics. Ooh, deep amber is how they classify the color. The aroma is going to be cinnamon and butterscotch. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, and look at the lid. This one, yeah, Rimsaw is going to have that color. Okay. Oh, cinnamon. Oh, butterscotch. They have butterscotch, so I smell definitely a strong cinnamon. Wow. Okay. Let's do our half ounce. I love the way it just pours so nicely. The taste should be soft hints of caramelized oak balanced with layers of spice and refined dried fruit with a touch of red berries. 
Oh, that smells good. Now, there's that bird of scar. It's a little bit of agave smell. The finish should be a smooth vanilla and a hint of clove. Taste. Let's go for the taste. Wow, tequila. The smell is so good. Okay. Subtle spice. I can taste the fruit. Red berries, vanilla on the finish, hint of clove. What is clove? I'm not too sure. But that vanilla, that vanilla finish, that's unique. Mm. Very little bite. Very little. Mmm. When drinking tequila, got to sip it smooth. Not too fast. Got to let it linger. Wow. Smooth vanilla. Very smooth. We got to try that Nejo. Okay. And the Nejo is a dried fruit, oak, vanilla also. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, DeLeonTequila.com, Reposado, Blanco, bam, Blanco, and the Anejo, the dark one. Okay, wow, okay, by far, by far, these two, definitely smooth. You get vanilla, I like smooth, smooth alcohol, smooth Smooth vanilla finish, that's good. That's just good on its own. We want to sip tequila on its own. Wow, that's good. Okay, yo, let me know what you think. Ooh, Sean P. Diddy Combs, Deadly on Tequila. There's a lot of different brands out there. Okay, that probably ranks on our third tier list, but I like it. That's so good. Okay, yeah, 818 Fletcher De Leon. Mm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if you've heard about this brand. Let me know if you heard it at all. What you think? I like this glass bottle like that. We a total of three, but we got two. Blanco, Reposado, and Nejo. Some tequilas have the extra Nejo, but these are perfect. The Blanco and the Reposado, probably my two favorites anyway. And the Nejo on some the Fletcher's old, pretty good. But bam, I think that about wrap up this video, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, another review of tequila. Let's Go! Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and go out there and try some Dele on tequila. P. Diddy. Man, you can find it at your local liquor store, wherever. Just use the store finder. It has it on the website, Dele on tequila. And let me know if I can help you with anything else. Go out there, change the world, be yourself, and go make someone's day. Love you guys, and we will see you in the next review. Peace out.